This is not another BS top 10 list. What you're about to see are the results from the largest personal electric scooter survey in history. Nearly 1,000 people from all over the world rated the scooter they personally own. This is not our opinion or fake reviews. This is the top 13 personal electric scooters as voted by you. Number 13, GoTrax GXL Commuter V2. The V2 has been a stalwart entry-level scooter for a couple years now. At $250, most electric scooters are still considered toys, while the GoTrax is a real deal commuter. In our performance test, the V2 sped up to a top speed of 13 miles per hour and cruised in at just over 10 miles of range. While not a thrill seeker scooter, the low top speed actually helps the scooter to stop more quickly and contributes to its overall great safety score. In fact, it checks nearly all the boxes in terms of safety, including dual pneumatic tires, a disc brake, high mounted front light, and a loud bell. It does lack a rear light, so you'll need to pick that up, but otherwise this ultra budget scooter is ready to roll. The V2 has recently been updated to the XR. Number 12, Xiaomi M365. Long live the king of electric scooters. The Xiaomi is the model that brought electric scooter sharing to the masses when Bird chose it for its inaugural scooter. Since then, the M365 has become the most popular scooter in the world for the personal market and not without reason. While still budget friendly at less than $400 on Amazon, the M365 has a top speed of 16 miles per hour and an impressive tested range of 14.6 miles. Bang for your buck, this might be the best deal in the industry. It also takes all the safety features of the GoTrax and adds a built-in rear light for added nighttime safety. The Xiaomi also includes a functional app, cruise control, and a comfortable thumb throttle. Number 11, 09. Often replicated, but never duplicated, the 09 packs an astounding array of features in its 40 pound frame. When you're looking for a well-balanced scooter that does nearly everything well, this scooter is hard to beat. Top speed is higher than expected at over 28 miles per hour, and you'll get a real world range of nearly 22 miles. When commuting, you'll have a comfortable ride thanks to dual pneumatic tires, dual suspension, optional cruise control, and a large deck. And when you come home at night in the pitch black, you'll thank your lucky stars for the bright stem and under deck lighting so cars can easily see you from a distance. Since I live upstairs, I would get the best scooter under 45 pounds, and in my opinion, this is it. Number 10, eMove Cruiser. The eMove Cruiser has come out as a huge winner in 2019 after Voro Motors went crazy with upgrades over the previous model. The latest version now includes semi-hydraulic brakes for easy braking, an IP67 water resistance rating for when you get stuck in the rain, tubeless pneumatic tires so you'll have less of a chance of getting flats, and an LG battery for long-lasting battery durability. Besides this buffet of benefits, the Cruiser also has the longest range of any scooter we've ever tested at 50.3 miles. Add to all this some of the best commuter comforts on any scooter including turn signals, a loud electronic horn, a massive deck for riding comfort, and cruise control for advanced users on those longer rides. Put all this together and you have our absolute favorite long range commuter. Number 9. Mercane Wide Wheel Pro Batmobile-like looks with ultra-fat tires and punchy dual-motor acceleration, the Wide Wheel Pro is a favorite among riders who want something fast and fun but aren't looking for a heavyweight beast scooter. We tested the Pro and it had a top speed of 26.7 miles per hour with 19.3 miles of real-world range in its fastest mode. The Pro is an upgraded version of the original fan favorite Wide Wheel and now includes an LCD display and dual disc brakes. The Pro is one of the most fun scooters to ride due to its thrilling but not scary acceleration. Some owners use it for daily commuting, but we like to think of it more as a fun weekend scooter for joyriding in fair weather. Number 8. Fluid Freeride Horizon 
The Horizon is an affordable, super practical, very well-balanced daily commuter. It ticks all the boxes for features that you need for city riding and on all types of roads. It has dual suspension and a rear airless tire for less flats. We tested the Horizon and it had a top speed of 24 miles per hour and a fantastic 26 mile range in its fastest mode. One of the best things about this scooter is it folds compactly for carrying onto public transit or storing. Not only does the stem fold, but it also telescopes and the handlebars fold as well. In its smallest configuration, it's just 38 and a half inches long and seven inches wide. At 42 pounds, it's not super light, but it is one of the lightest scooters with this much range. Number seven, Xiaomi M365 Pro. The M365 Pro is a slightly more powerful, larger battery version of the world's favorite Xiaomi M365. It weighs just four pounds more than the original, but increases the range to 25 miles while also having more power for faster acceleration on the flats as well as hills. We can see the huge appeal of this scooter. It has a universally loved, refined Xiaomi design with even more range and power. The Pro also has a bright LED information display, something absent in the original. The Pro also packs some fantastic safety and performance features, including dual pneumatic tires, a disc brake, great design, and range for days, all in a 33 pound package. Unfortunately, it is not widely available in North America as of April 2020, but riders elsewhere in the world should be able to pick this scooter up for just slightly more than the original M365, making it a steal if you can get it. Number six, Cabo Mantis Pro. The Cabo Mantis Pro tips the scales at just 64 pounds, yet has all the trappings of a legitimate beast scooter. It has dual 1000 watt motors and hydraulic disc brakes that help the scooter start and stop very quickly. We tested the top speed to be 37.3 miles per hour and the range to be 33.7 miles. It accelerates to 30 miles per hour in just 5.8 seconds, which is about the same length of time it takes regular scooters to reach 15 miles per hour. The Mantis has giant air-filled tires and an adjustable dual spring suspension that soaks up bumps, yet is stiff enough to keep you tacked to the road. It can handle rough roads, but the Mantis thrives on smooth pavement and it loves high speed. The scooter also just looks super cool and Cabo got a lot of the small touches right, including the super grippy deck with Mantis badging. Overall, it's an aggressive looking scooter with the credentials to back it up. Number five, Segway Ninebot Max. While sold as a personal scooter, the Max was developed to handle the rigors of the rough sharing market and as such is the most robust and durable scooter on the market. When someone needs a scooter they can rely on, the Segway Ninebot Max should be the number one choice. The Max sports a massive battery for its size which produced a tested range of over 28 miles and a tested top speed of nearly 18 miles per hour. The Max also includes large 10 inch puncture resistant tubeless pneumatic tires, a legitimate IPX5 water resistance rating so you won't get stuck in the rain, a comfortable thumb throttle, a functional app that allows you to enable cruise control or disable the scooter, and an internal power brick so you don't have to lug around your large charger, you can simply plug it in with a standard power cord. At this price range, the Max goes the furthest and has the best construction. It is also widely available, so you shouldn't have a problem getting your hands on one. Number four, Zero 010X. The Zero 010X is an extreme scooter that is not only fast as hell, but also one of the most comfortable to ride. It is a full-size B scooter weighing close to 80 pounds that has 24 inch handlebars and a generous deck that gives it more than 19 by nine inches of standing room. The 10X comes in a handful of variants with increasing battery power and features all the way up to the Savage 60 volt 10X, which has a sizable 1260 watt hour LG battery pack, fully hydraulic disc brakes, and dual 30 amp controller motors. Range and top speed will depend on the variant you get, 
we tested the lowest powered variant which gave 24 miles of range, but the top of the line variant should be in the mid 30s. The Zero brand has incredible loyalty among its owners who trick them out with all kinds of add-ons and upgrades. The combination of massive power, industry best suspension for incredible ride quality, multiple configuration options, and if you buy in the US, one of the highest rated sellers, it is no wonder the 10X was rated one of the best electric scooters by owners from around the world. Number three, Cabo Mantis. The Cabo Mantis base model is the less expensive, slightly more tame version of the Mantis Pro. The Mantis base is still fast thanks to its dual motor configuration and still a legitimate B scooter, just not quite as head snapping as the Pro model. However, it was fast enough to take fourth place in the recent San Francisco Cannonball Run just behind three Rions. It is the same frame, build quality, and suspension as the Pro, but the dual disc brakes are semi-hydraulic instead of fully hydraulic, and it doesn't have the upgraded trigger throttle and controller. We think of the Mantis as a more practical beast scooter. It weighs just 62 pounds, which is on the lighter side for an extreme performance scooter. The stem folds and locks into place for easy carrying, and the scooter isn't so ridiculously massive as to give you a hernia when you try to move it. Number two, Cabo Wolf Warrior. The Cabo Wolf Warrior burst onto the scene last year and quickly rose through the ranks of beast scooters. It literally eats the baddest electric scooters for lunch. Acceleration on the Wolf is simply brutal and it's the fastest scooter we've ever tested, reaching 40 miles per hour in just 9.4 seconds. Despite its electron guzzling dual motors, it still delivered 42.2 miles of range during our tests. It also includes a slew of rider comforts, including best-in-class hydraulic suspension, a super loud horn seemingly ripped off of a motorcycle, deck lighting for night visibility, and the brightest front lights we've ever seen. The Wolf Warrior has distinctive giant front shocks and an ultra solid stem. We love the huge deck and exoskeleton-like frame. The Wolf is one of the most distinctive scooters. There is nothing quite like it and it delivers a ton of performance for the price. This is why we suspect it tied for the highest average rating. Number one, Dualtron Thunder. The Thunder takes its throne as the number one rated scooter by riders all over the world. The Thunder tied with the Wolf Warrior with an average rating of 4.9. However, it had nearly three times as many votes, which is why we are putting it at number one. It shouldn't be surprising that the top rated scooter is also the most expensive on the list. Mini Motors has been making high performance scooters for a long time, and this is readily apparent on the Thunder. It has excellent build quality, a giant deck, ultra quiet adjustable rubber suspension, massive tires for soaking up bumps and obstacles in the road, and even mood lighting on the stem that can be customized by an included remote. When you squeeze down on the trigger throttle, hold on for dear life, its acceleration is simply brutal. Riders all over the world have made their choice and the Thunder is the clear winner. Check out the video description for more detailed info on each top scooter. Until next time, ride safe and don't forget to wear your helmet. For an in-depth look at each scooter on this list, check out our live show detailing the top 13.